Well Gretchen got the bike back and is bringing the thief back in order we settle up with him or he's going to jail, maybe even both depending on his attitude. Two hours later. Well, it didn't take too long I got this guy on walking street trying to nick some fried rice from a food cart. A piece of work he is. Do you thought something to say to these people? Well do you. Hurry up before I kick you in the nuts again. I don't owe you shit. So let me out of these cuffs so I can be on my way. You owe us 1,842 baht. Either pay us or we're calling the police and you will pay us and them. What kind of man are you? You need women to do your talking. You are not even a man. Right. That did it I'm pissed. Now pay up. <laughs> Thought you would get away did ya? This will cost you double. I better not tear TH's letter shirt or you are paying for it. What you got to say now? Huh? Well speak up. You heard the woman, now speak up before I- <laughs> Just introduce Bonnie and Clyde to him. That ought to fix him good. Well what started out at $15 US wound up costing dick nose dick head around $250 plus tip only. What do you got to say violin? It ain't no joke if you don't pay the note. Dick knows dick head. Today I'm off to the Ulgen Folk Festival. It is having bands from the USA, Brazil, and local high schools. I can't wait until I go there. I have free tickets plus a parent, who is helping organizing the event is leaving tickets at will call. This is exciting. I can't wait. My name is Michelle and I have two tickets waiting for me. You want a ticket? It is 10 million won. You pay now. A friend leave tickets here for me. They are free and it's thousand not millions. We don't have a free ticket you must pay. You pay me now. You must pay. Obviously he doesn't know the difference betwixt must and have to. Let me explain. The word must is a strong word in us language. Normally it's used to tell someone to do something and there is no alternative. The three ways we use must is. When you believe something is important. You must go to school. When you feel something is important or someone should do try something. You must try the apple pie. And finally. When you have to do something or there is no alternative. He must have went through immigration. Depending on how strongly you use the word it comes across as being rude. And he was rude. The word should is a more polite way of telling someone something, but it doesn't imply that the individual has to do something. The word should can be used to. To express something that is probable. John should be here by 2 p.m. To ask questions. Should we turn left at this street? To show obligation, give recommendation, or even an opinion. You should stop eating fast food. We should go to the park tomorrow. He should go to the pharmacy first thing in the morning. He needs a better teacher. I just arrived in Phnom Penh and I'm going to get pissed tonight. I just spent all but six hours on a bus. I'm ready to tie one down. I need some bud. Now this looks like my kind of place where I can tie one down, relax my nerves and find a bird for a wife. If you want me to live with you, it will be $300 a month. $300 for a bird to live with me. I have to think about it. Yes. Let's go. We made it to Agra. I didn't realize we had to wear dress clothes in the Taj Mahal so the ladies and I had to buy clothes. They especially loved the shopping. We made it to the Taj Mahal. I was charged $50 and they were free. Go figure. <laughs> That was a beautiful day ladies. It's time to go home. We have to start working back on blogging and cosplay. I love traveling. I could travel through India for years and still not see everything. Now it's back to Bali. They must be getting tired. Oh, no no no. 
We are traveling all through India until the doctor says no. Thank you for joining this week. Please come back next week for more exciting episodes. As always, please like and subscribe. See you next week.